Hi, my name's Simon, GM810YB. Continuing with parts of this CR100 restoration. Now, I've been thinking about the mains transformer and this is it here. And I wasn't too happy with the condition of the cables. My idea was to put heat shrink over them, which I've done on that one here. This is one of the low voltage windings. So the this enameled copper wire is uh, quite stiff. Some of the other ones are very small. I think that's been joined and they're quite fragile, especially <laughs> where they go into the transformer. Now on later transformers, not all of them, but on there's one, an example of a, a transformer. These had terminal strips on them. Uh, I think you've probably seen them before. So the windings of the transformer are wired to little pins here. So they're quite rigid, they're not really disturbed. And then all the external wiring goes on the other side, the tags. Well, I thought about doing something similar to the transformer here. So just playing around with some ideas. Uh, yeah. So I came across this tag strip. tags on it. 20 tags on it, I might not use them all. There's five winding, five wires on one side and four on the other. I just put this piece of, that's oh, just a bit of strip of um, metal band, just, just to give it an idea, get an idea in my head. And I quite like the idea. I need to mount the transformer first into the chassis and there should be enough room. And just as a, a quick demonstration, have that bolted on, and then they can solder, put, solder these cables on for the, the terminals. The individual pins here, and then use the inside ones to take off to the appropriate part, part of the radio. So that's my idea. I uh, need to get. I'm going to make a small. Add to my car, and be ideal. <laughs> I uh, get a small, small strip of metal, a bit uh, sturdier than this band. This is very flimsy. And once I mount the transformer in the chassis, I can bolt that on and solder it. I thought about doing it first. I could actually just leave the band off. Um, I just bolted it on there, on the bolt. I'm just still thinking about the idea, but uh, I'll show exactly what I do in the end. I, mean, I could always glue that on there, or it's just the hole on the chassis is quite, it's just roughly the size of this, so I can't have it protruding too far. So even if I cut it down, and then getting it in, you have to twist it, so I can't really put the wires on until it's in the chassis of the radio. Well, that's a thought I've got, so somehow I think that would be a better idea, make it a bit more robust. I just need to uh, look at a suitable way of holding that there. I've also been cleaning up some of the little brackets that go inside the on the chassis. Just little bits and pieces. It's quite a lot of little bits and pieces really. Um, bit by bit I'll clean them up. That's for the additional noise limiter bracket. It's actually got some writing on it there AP serial number even gives you the valve type VR54 I think that's the type of valve that was used these pieces they go in to the tuning scale at the top along with its bar so I just sprayed them all grey look a bit better they're all a bit rusty so I rubbed some of the rust off the best I could and that's this is the box that covers the one of the little boards close to the coil pack. As the rest are just little brackets here. Um, I made a picture and I know where they all go. I did have writing on them in pen, and I took a picture. I know which 
bracket goes away and uh, that looks not too bad so they're the little fiddly little bits of metal brackets that are around about the place so uh, I've still got a few little bits and pieces to clean up again I was doing the these are the top cap connections that I missed it there there was a resistor that goes in there, it's like uh, it was about this thick, one of the thicker resistors. So I thought I'd use a more modern resistor, and the one I'm using was uh, one of very small. <laughs> so I put heat shrink on it, hoping to get it up to the thickness, but it's going to have an awful lot of heat shrink. So I've decided to get two watt resistors, and there's a bit overkill having two watt resistors, but I think they'll be. The size will be correct, even if I put heat shrink on it, and then I can connect them up there. So this is the new 214 cable. This is some of the old cable that came off here. There, uh, it's all starting to flake up. That's one of them there. Nice point on this is the very end. Let's try and get that close to the lens in focus. Maybe. There's a piece of copper wire twisted around here a few times and then terminated on the end. It's, sort of, it's like a little stiffener, a little spring uh, strain relief made with copper wire. So I might do that. Not necessarily on this one, but on some of the other ones. I shall have a go. Okay, that's it for now. And uh, there's lots of little fiddly bits to uh, continue with. And uh, that's it for this video. Thank you.